friends this is a non intumescent mature white cataract let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus you can see oozing of blood from the lips of the main incision this is a side port on the right side of the main incision about 3 o'clock hours away and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision another 3 o'clock hours away and now this is an air bubble beneath this air bubble tripan blue 0.06 percent dye is applied over the anterior capsule staining becomes very good in a very short time if we stain the anterior capsule underneath an air bubble the dye is then washed out with BSS balanced salt solution and then 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber this HPMC is being used as OVD and now capsulorexis a 26 case bent needle is used to incise the anterior capsule and raise a tag and there is no leakage of any fluid indicating there is no rise of intralenticular pressure in such cases we can do an optimum sized rexis at on go uh, Utrata forceps has been used to do the rexis size of this rexis is about 5.5 millimeter and it is fairly acceptable rexis hydrodissection is then done the nucleus is tapped and then the nucleus is rotated visco is again injected and then this is the time for introduction of the feco needle this is a totally unedited recording of the surgery so you are watching each and every step of the surgery always give the focus keep the eye at the center of the field and always focus clearly wherever you are working and now the tip of the phaco needle goes into the eye with its bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and then the hand piece is turned using the left hand and now the nucleus is to be divided into some pieces watch the teeth is buried into the substance of the nucleus it goes through the nucleus for some distance and the nucleus is chopped this technique is known as submarine chop and now each fragment is emulsified and removed ultrasonic energy used in this case is 60 percent fluoride is 40 ml per minute and vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury this is the last nuclear fragment the antechamber is very stable bottle height is 110 centimeter yes the nucleus and epinucleus has come out and now cortical cleanup is to be done in this case I'm going to use a 23 gauze Simco cannula for removal of the cortex see how beautifully you can remove the cortex with this very simple instrument we can use bimanual irrigation aspiration also but this is much safer you can control the vacuum from 0 to 5 millimeter of mercury with Simco but with bimanual irrigation aspiration you need a lot of training to do this
this is the last part of the cortex yes cortical cleanup has been done very nicely and now intraocular lens is to be implanted this is irrigation only just by irrigation we can do polishing of the posterior capsule this is called hydro polish and now an intraocular lens is being implanted through the 2.8 millimeter wound this is a hydro four week acrylic single phase monofocal intraocular lens and the lens goes into the capsular bag by a push of the left left hand instrument at the haptic optic junction and now whatever visco was there in the lumen of the cartis has come out the lens the just checking if the lens is in the bag or not if we can hook the margin of the rexis then it is in the back so we are towards the end of the surgery this is a bit of moxifloxacin and now the side ports are closed hydrating corneal stroma on either side of the stab wounds we can make out that the patient is under topical anesthesia if we just hydrate the corneal stroma the side ports get closed and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber whatever visco sticks to the corneal endothelium is removed at this time the anterior chamber is formed very nicely and then the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills we are going through a very tough time but always remember tough times never last but tough people do again everything will be normal and we will serve the mankind with great surgical competence